So one of your main objectives when it comes to Facebook initially should be this simple. All right, you click create campaign. All right, head down over to engagements. Don't want to send people off, so don't click on traffic. That's how you actually spend all your money. Go on to engagements, click on continue. All right, we're gonna let it load up. All right, after it load up here, select a category. If you're in the housing, or credit repair, or something hard industry, you're gonna go with special categories. If it's not, if it's a mainstream offer or part of service, then you're just gonna leave everything blank. The majority of you guys, you just leave this part blank and when you're setting up everything then you click next it's going to be in the bottom right i just got partial screen share all right after you click there it's going to say all right conversation location messenger app that's all you want you don't want anything too much click to message so when someone click on the ad it's just going to send a message that's it you don't want to send people to a website you don't want to send them to an offer you just want to get inside the inbox have a conversation all right, the account I'm going to use is Jeremiah Ads. All right, keep the budget small, such as a dollar. I learned this from Frank Kern, actually. Keep the budget extremely small. Let Facebook optimize the campaign. Let it get full details of what's going on. After, after Facebook built up that da data on a dollar budget, what's going to happen is now you're going to get more engaged people, people that's eager for what you have to offer, because what they're going to do is create a lookalike audience for that particular industry. So everyone that's engaging on your ad is gonna start pinging off of those people and finding more and more people that looks just like them. All right, scroll down, just like your audience. In our case right here, we're doing uh, phones. I like to keep phones above 25, because 25 below, people typically don't have no money. So I always go 25 to 30 and above. All right, demographics, I keep this broad because I typically reach a broad audience. So I'll do things that people, the masses consume, such as Walmart, right? I target a Walmart audience. I know this is a trick that a lot of people don't mention, but this is what I do for majority of my campaigns. Costco, all right? Because I'm not looking specifically at one person, I'm trying to appeal to the masses. All right, um, Cricket Wireless. All right, C Cricket is a big company. All right, so a lot of these household brand names is what we want to target. That's mainly the focus. Okay, um, Boost Mobile. Phone service. I like targeting people by the phone. Demographics. The reason I choose these this demographic is because it's more involved with impulse people. I hate to say it, the lower the income, the more impulsive the buyer. The higher the income, the more adamant the buyer. So I typically focus on impulsive people because those are the people that's going to drive traffic, engagements, and get into our funnel and get into our system. So that's why I target low uh, mass market items. All right. Sometimes you can narrow it down and you can say, all right. <clears throat> also must match let's say an uh, artist or let's say typically a lot of times I do go with artists or I go with blog channels and stuff like this like world star hip hop or I might choose Drake or something I don't want more young adamant people I will go with like Drake or Post Malone if I want more impulsive people then I'll try to find whatever is just jumping on the radio so you can literally google what artist is popular on the radio and I'll target them and look at their demographics it's the easiest way to look at the right demographics but in this case scenario for the sake of this video I'm gonna go ahead and skip through all this stuff right here and we're gonna go to manual placements and automatic now <clears throat> big differentiate between these two things right here if you're doing automatic placements what happens is you're allowing Facebook to automatically optimize that placements. So I'm gonna tell you straight up, newsfeed is the biggest thing on Facebook. That's what I enjoy, that's what I do because it's newsfeed, it's a big placement on Facebook. Everyone is scrolling through their newsfeed. When you get free traffic, it's through the newsfeed. When you're on organic, it's through the newsfeed. That's what I target. Now when you target like 
let's say, hey, I'm just want to target someone on this specifically story or messenger or something like that, you're typically not going to win too well because it's like you got to let things optimize. But the beautiful part is Facebook will do the optimization for you. What I like to do, since I already know my targeting off gate, I go off to menu placements and unselect audience network, unselect messenger, unselect Instagram. Don't want Instagram traffic uh, for this offer. All right, and I'm gonna unselect streams, in streams. Don't want to be on no videos don't care about searches and I don't care about being in an article uh, stories sometimes because stories really works especially on Instagram uh, for biz out I'm not even gonna lie to you story works great fees is good so in this case I'm leaving on feeds because that's what I know works I'm not gonna test anything I'm gonna go with what I know for a fact works and that's feeds All right. and click next and at this part, this is where we want to start our ad creation part. So if you have your ad or a flyer for you, if you're a small business owner, if this is your first time running, if you have a flyer or image or anything that's promoting your business, this is where we're going to upload that right here. So this is the promotion. Everything we just did, that was the marketing, all right? That's us strategizing where we're going to put our ads in front of people. Advertising and marketing is two different things, all right? With advertising, this is the message that we're prevailing to people. The marketing, no one sees it. No one understands it, but the message is the important thing. It's what we say, how we say it, and when we say it, and how we present it to people. Okay? So come over here. We're going to come over and click on Add Media. Uh, for our case scenario, we're doing on Jeremiah Ads. That's a, that's my personal page. I, will, I have two things that work. I actually have an ad copy that works, and I actually have a video. So I'm going to see if I can just upload an example for an image. Facebook ad set up, uh, affiliate marketing, Facebook ad set up, uh, protein. So I had a vegan page. Obviously, I was vegan, but I'm not no more. Um, so with that being said, then I will typically go with my business stuff. So hand me uh, Facebook ad set up. All right. So click on here. This is literally how you just run the ad for more clients. Okay, come over here. Let me get that bubble right here. Click next. Keep it on original. Don't want it to optimize. And if you do, you want to kind of crop it yourself. Keep it original so it can be perfect on all devices. Click done. All right. Everything in the image is what you want to focus on. Primary text. Headline. Description. Description. People aren't going to really see that. So it's not that big of a deal. Headline is a straight call to action in your headline because it's where it's at. All right, so you can say message us now for more uh, now to get set up by tomorrow. So I'm pre-selling, so that's why I say get set up by tomorrow. So I'm just trying to create a little imagery, imagery, and like people head. So you say, all right, well I can get started today and get set up tomorrow. So create a little imagery. Um, all right, primary text. Ask questions. First thing you do always ask questions. Okay. Are you active? And be looking for more jobs in your area okay. skip emojis all right so big secret i ran an ad for two years same ad no changes using the same format ask question emojis like people want to see colors always be in the mindset of people are extremely slow like even people aren't slow people are smart but be in that mindset so you got to 
dumb down everything. Instead of using internet, use Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? Instead of using uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 or something like that, use cell phone. You know? So you have to break down the terminology. It's very simple. Get. So what will we do here? Get more jobs quickly. Jobs this week. After using our Facebook and set guide. Yep. Alright. And from there, we have our ad copy, we have our image, we have our call to action. After we do that, we'll just keep that draft there. All right. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the future.